Tonight's episode of The Ship Show is brought to you by... Douche Canoe, a fragrance for men by Carnival. Tonight's episode of The Ship I smell a smelly smell that smells smelly. Hey there folks, it's the rooster coming at you live and direct from a farm on St. John and I'm about to ask all the hard-hitting questions. So, let's find out one thing. Excuse me, sir. Was Mr. Ed as famous as everyone said he was? Did you ever talk to him? He seemed like a chatty Cathy. You guys are kind of quiet, I like that. Excuse me, sir, could I ask you a question? Um, is it Coco K or Coco Key? Do you know that... Hey guys, um, just a quick question. Uh, what are your thoughts on how loud the chickens are all the time? What's the matter? Can I cut your tongue? Excuse me, sir. Uh, just a quick question. No? Not working for you? Excuse me, sir. Just a quick question. Is it uh, Coco K or Coco Key? No? Boy, the horses here are really quiet. What's your favorite beach here on St. John? Do you guys have a preference? Ooh, you gonna say something? Oh, you wanna whisper it? Oh, okay, Maho Beach. Okay, we liked it too. You could trust a horse here. You looking at me, Holes? Oh, no. Rowdy's getting ready to get rowdy. Look, he's like, I use Crest. A proper dental hygiene regimen is important if you're a goat. Excuse me, I know that you're much smaller than those horses over there. Do you have a complex? Is that why you're uh, just keeping here by yourself or what's the deal? Listen, in my eyes, you're big, just like them. We love you. Huh? What? No, I disagree. It was him over there. It wasn't me. Okay, you can keep saying that all you want, but I'm telling you, it was that guy. I didn't do it. Listen to the rooster. See, he agrees with me. That's what I thought. What? Listen, you zip it over there. I've had enough of your lip. I'm telling you, it was not me. It was him. That's it. I'm sick the rooster on you. Hey, dude, get him. No, not gonna do it. 
Okay, fine. Whatever. Keep talking smack. Go ahead. Just kidding, buddy. Come here, you cute little goaty boy. Hey guys, I've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. How come you don't answer the phone when I call? Oh, now you want to leave, huh? Okay, fine. Whatever. Excuse me, sir. Uh, do you have a moment? Uh, does it bother you when people are always calling you a cock? How you doing there, buddy? Did you get in on the uh, GameStop action that was going on? Oh. Okay. Well, that answers that question. Hey, what's your portfolio looking like these days? Are you looking ready to retire? You're already in the perfect location. You seem like someone who could answer this question for me, sir. Which came first? Can I ask you a question? Did you ever used to watch Alice? Remember when she used to say, when donkeys fly? Have you ever flown anywhere? No? Okay. Just wondering. I was wondering if you could clear something up for me really quick. Um, can donkeys fly? One last question for you. I know I already asked you a couple, but why don't you just say he instead of hee haw? Like, it seems like you're expending way too much energy to do all that. Hey, donkey, I have a question. Are we there yet? I was funny, wasn't it? I thought it was funny too. You're the only one laughing though. Hey, just curious, was Shrek as cool as he seemed in the movies, or is he kind of a stuck-up movie star type? Who are you looking for? Uh, Meg? Who? I haven't seen her. Uh, I haven't seen her. I don't know why you keep asking. Excuse me, ma'am, where is your husband? You shouldn't be raising that chicken alone. This guy right here has been trying to pick a fight all day. But I think he recognizes that you don't mess with the rooster. Because he's been pretty nice to me. Ain't that right, buddy? Yeah, you're a good goaty goat. The rooster's not afraid of you, so you know it. Okay. The beauty of a chicken. How you doing? That's right, I know. You're a tropical chicken. Oh, well, goodbye. Hey, shipheads! It's Wednesday night, and that makes it ship show night. And I don't know if you can tell, but I'm so excited tonight's show because Larry's back from Icon of the Seas, and we're gonna hear all about Icon of the Seas. And probably a little bit of lawn care. Hey, ship ads, fuck off! Hold on. Wait, would you just look at that? We've got Larry. We've got the rooster. Larry got small on me here. I don't know how. You, you, you changed in size on me there, my guy. Nobody ever says that to me. Uh, well, it must be cold in there. <laughs> I'll uh, take it. It must be cold. Let me see if I can. Let me see if I can make you just a skosh bigger. I know that's not my job. I think there's probably others more equipped better there equipped for that but uh i'm gonna i'll leave that to the pros i did i'll make you uh, i'll make it appear as though there's no good way to say this larry welcome back from icon of the seas thank you thank you it's good to be back sorry we missed last week but i can tell you this it would have been so difficult to uh to break away from everything and, and even just do an hour show it, it's i i 
the the cruise has left me speechless. It's just I tried to come up with some negatives. <laughs> I I do have some, but I feel like I'm nitpicking so bad. But uh, it's good to be back. Really good to be back. And you know, you know, it's great to have you back, Larry. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, for crying out loud, I had FOMO for a whole stinking daggone freaking week watching all you guys enjoy yourselves. <laughs> do, you, do you wanna know how many times that came up? Uh, my good friend Jamie would be like, Oh, you know, seeing this stuff, John's got FOMO so bad. Yeah, I did. I had <laughs> FOMO like nobody's business. Don't you dare do that. Sorry. I had FOMO bad. Uh, luckily, I had some uh, some uh, training for work where I had to go out of town, and I may or may not have, you know, done some fun stuff of my own, uh, but uh, that's another story. I just realized this is Rooster from Sharon at C Group Cruise videos. Oh, please don't leave now. <laughs> From the north to Neverland, they commented. They came here from uh, D&G Explorers live stream. And uh, he said he just realized that that's, uh, I'm that crazy dude. from. I almost wore that t-shirt tonight, Larry. I almost really? wore my Carnival Horizon, uh, my very first Sharon at Sea group cruise uh, t-shirt, just to let everybody know, just to flex a little bit and be like, hey, look, y'all. I may not have been on the last one, but I was on the first one. And yeah, if you miss that one, you can never say you were on the first one. So yes, kudos to you. So I will preface this that um, yes, in no way, shape, or form am I trying to like uh, rub it in by any means. Just trying to be informative. And I will say this that I always have uh, post cruise depression, but what really saved me, especially with the group we were with, knowing that. Uh, we have uh, another Sharon at Sea group cruise coming up right around the corner. We're like five, six, five, six weeks away on the Forenza. Um, so everybody did keep talking about that, and that kind of got me over the, the hurdle of having to get off a ship. And Yeah, I believe that. <clears throat> you know, so it's, it's always funny. It's great to have that thing to look forward to on the horizon. Yeah, I know. I've been having that thing to look forward to since June. Maybe another Sharon at Sea ship show uh, group cruise. Uh, d d d d d you know, we can't seem to work that out. Can we? Well, maybe, maybe, maybe I need to start talking to them when we're out at the bar when that don't Be like, hey, what's up, man? You, 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 you. Uh, I'm, I, I don't want to rant. I, I just have FOMO, okay? So just bear with me. I, Jay Bowen's in the place tonight. Rhonda Carney's here. Hey, Rhonda. We've got... Uh... Testament All up in the place. And we've got Lindy Lou to... Lindy Lou's in the place to be, and I'm sure she's with Mr. Z, Mr. Z, and if she's not, she's with Tony Jackson, oh yeah, <clears throat> and we got Wendy Johnstone and Scott McNeil all up in your fields, baby, moderator, keep it straighter, Robin Allison. And we got Kimbo's cruising. Carla McClendon, sugar, 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 sugar. In the place to be tonight. Who else we got? I think we got Daniel Fields. And I think we got Nancy Fields. And Sharon at Sea. Travel, baby. Rhonda Carney. She's in the house. We got Crazy Cat Traveler. Meow. And S. John Four and Joan Gillen are in the place tonight. On the ship show. Trying to hear what Larry knows. About the icon, bro. Kelly Madison is also here, Larry. 
and Debbie, 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 Chef Gray, and chill one deck down, one deck down, one deck down. She's one deck down from Jamie, from Sharon at Sea Travel. Oh, yeah. We got the McShip show. We're talking doodles. Yeah. He's probably playing FIFA soccer and just listening on his phone. Saying, leave me alone. Uh -uh -uh. <laughs> we got Bagakler in the place and Jockey itch off the chisel. That's right, off the chisels in the place tonight. Much like this live stream, we will be off the chisel. Kevin Counts I'm screwing around on my computer And missed the beginning of the show In my defense The show doesn't usually start this early Yeah, yeah. Uh, You're so darn right You're so darn right We're usually late every night But not tonight Larry said, if you aren't on time, we're going to fight. He's going to throw them dukes at me. Roger Johnstone, glad to see you. Tess Almond and Carla McClendon. I think I covered enough of the names. We're so glad to have you on the ship show. Take it away, Larry. Hey, how about that? I forgot about that. Kudos to us that we were actually on time. We could have been early. We wow, what a good what a good way to end it. I mean, we ended it right on time. It was we, like we practiced. We we could have been early tonight. We were like we were on it. We got started about uh yes. 45 45 minutes 40 minutes early and we could have gone early. So it, it was good to be on time. We it wasn't to talk about. It wasn't without issues though. Let's be honest, Larry. I had Oh gosh, dang it. Hold on. I just want to say hi to Tiffany Zipatelli, 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 you know she ain't. I'm never going to go down that road. Just want to say hi to Zipatelli. I wanted to see if I could sing Zipatelli. And as it turns out, I can sing Zipatelli. Yeah, sorry, Larry. I had yeah, to. I, you, you were on tonight. Yes. You were on. Wendy says Larry's microphone is lower than mine. I can't help it. I, oh, I, I can't help it. You're, I, I mean, it's just I, because he's louder than me. I'm loud as hell. I got music playing. Um, and, uh, you know, it's. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. The way it goes. It is what it is. You know, I'll give him a little bit of juice here. You ready? I'm ready. Give it to me. I just gave you some juice, Larry. All right. How's that? That help out, everybody? Loud and clear. There we go. Good to go. All right. Okay, they say you're super low. I don't know. Oh, super low. Maybe that's wow. better. I I, br I I gave you some I gave you some uh vocal steroids, if you don't mind. But what I will do is I'll bring my levels down. And maybe that'll match it up a little bit better. You know Any what better? I'm saying? Any better now, peeps? We all good? Good to go. Oh wait. Ready to hear ready to hear the ready to hear about the icon. Hold on. Hey! My son in law's in here. I wonder if he's drinking a tasty beer. Knowing that my daughter can't have one. But I know I'll see you both next weekend. It's gonna be a great one. We got Easter, we got family stuff, and then I'm a bachelor. I said a bachelor, I said a bachelor for two weeks. I'm talking about bachelorhood. It's real good. Mm. Okay, sorry, Larry. You're all right. You're. You're all fired up tonight. There's no doubt about that. Uh, wait, what you have for dinner? Hold on, Larry. Sorry. Jamie will hide if you send me a message tonight. I really didn't see it. 
Oh, God, I must have missed it. Gotta check my messages, baby. Maybe Sue O'Connor sent me a message, too. What should I do? Oh, dang it, Jamie. What did I, what did I miss? What did I miss? If it's about sending the luggage mat, I promise I'll do it. I promise. Hey, my, oh, okay, yeah, I got it. I got the message. I did, and I promise. It's packed up now. It's in a box. It's in the back of my truck. And Making progress. I think Jason Mraz said it best when he said, did you get my message? The one I left, the one I, okay, enough. Larry? Yes. What's going on? What's new? Well, what's exciting? What, what, what? Tell us, you, I want one word before we get into the deep dive snorkel into the I conned you out of your money of the seas. One word described last week for me overwhelming. Ooh, okay. Yes, without a doubt. No question about it. In so many ways. Overwhelming. Uh, that yes. could be interpreted as uh, good or bad, but okay. I got gotcha. you. I'm with you. Flabbergasting. <laughs> <laughs> now, are you talking about what the price was for no. everyone else but you, or are you talking about no. the experience? Er okay, so everyone in our group got in early. So um, I thought the prices were were reasonable for what the ship was. Now. The supply and demand thing is just taking this thing just just to to, re, to really high levels and 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 I I see both sides of it but um, no I felt I felt it was it, I would at this price I would go again in a heartbeat I'll put it to you that way for what I paid I would book this again and I would go again maybe not this year because I have a lot booked but definitely next year. And then I've heard that the star, the sister ship that comes out next year, uh, their prices are a little bit more affordable, but they're still high. They're, they're just, they're really, really high. So um, uh, I just have to talk about my experiences and I was happy with what I paid. That's the best way I could put it. Everything, everything. <laughs> and I'm not just talking about the ship. Everything's getting more expensive with this ship in Miami, though. Everything. Because you got to figure, this didn't, they didn't replace a ship with this one. They added it. So they're adding 7,500 people every, every Saturday. So I know a lot of people uh, drive that they're able to drive, but there's a lot that don't. So hotels, restaurants, everything is... Everything is getting more expensive. Yeah, and it's a trickle down effect too, right? Because right. we we had talked about this. We thought we had locked in a good hotel uh, for the pre cruise, the pre coop cruise uh, experience, um, the Holiday Inn there by Bayside Market, and uh, you know because of the icon and it leaving on Saturdays, same uh, as us. Uh, you know they're giving us the old, uh, as we would say in the in the Marine Corps, they're giving us the the green weenie. Speaking of green weenies, uh, I got a really cool watch last week. I don't know if it'll focus on it, but uh, let me see if I can cover my face and get it to focus. But anyway, this watch is pretty groovy. It's uh, made from old Marine Corps uh, ammo cans, and it. Uh, it's got my name inside. It says the rooster, and it says uh, USMC 1991 to 1996. I love it. It's, uh, it's got the metal band and everything is made from the metal part of the ammo can, and there's wood inlays in the band that are made from the lid of the ammo can. Uh, I will say this. I love it. Made by Original Grain. It wasn't cheap. However... You know, it's the kind of watch that you wear when you make sure you completely drain your bladder and your bowels before you go to dinner because you cannot wash your hands while wearing this watch. And I found that out the hard way um, 
because my camera f- uses my eyes to focus, uh, Wendy. So my camera automatically will focus on my eyes. If I cover my eyes, it won't know there's a face for it to be looking for to focus on. Pro tip. But anyway, I was really ticked off because, like, the paint bubbled up. Uh, a couple of the, the inlays swole up on me. But the company stands behind their product. They're sending me new bands, new inlays, and they promise that uh, uh, these will be uh, better sealed. So, Pretty good customer service. I, I cannot complain. Original Grain is uh, uh, not leaving a stain in my brain. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I hear you. <laughs> yeah. Good point. Yes. Okay, so, Larry, I... I feel like I have tons of questions that I could ask, but um, honestly, I feel like I don't even know what to ask, okay? I don't know what to ask except for one thing. <laughs> Larry, what do you it's think? It's going to have to do with this. Oh. What do you think of this? <laughs> what What are your thoughts on, on this here, the Easy Flow uh, injection system? Uh, is, is that really necessary for you? Uh, well, you know, it's high pressure injection and I feel like, you know, everybody could use some high pressure injection on occasion. Uh, it's my fertigation system, Larry. I'm so excited. Yeah. I had a feeling it had to do with lawn. It's going to, uh, inject fertilizer right through my sprinkler system, uh, and uh, I'm excited about it, but we'll leave it at that because I don't have, I don't know a lot about Icon because I don't want to watch a bunch of YouTubers that went on the first one, like step all over each other to get out their content. However, I will say for the this or that game that we're playing, thanks to these YouTubers, I have plenty of pictures that I was able to incorporate uh, into the game. Um, Very cool. But I haven't been watching the videos Um because I have a hard time watching videos that people made just trying to be like the first. And that's just a me thing. That's I mean, I totally get why they do it, but it's just like, you know, Hey man, enjoy your vacation a little bit and maybe not try and never mind. Anyhow, I don't have a lot of questions for you, but I do want to know, Larry, we know you're an avid cruiser. We know, you know what you're doing. You are a expert, if you will. Um, and quite frankly, so is Melissa, but what did Melissa think of the cruise? And I'm stealing that question from, uh, our dear, dear friend, Jamie Wilhite. Okay. So she absolutely loved it. Um, so before the show, I, I've got pages and pages of notes and I really, really tried to think of some of the things that I thought were negatives or that they could improve on. And I really wasn't coming up with too much. And so I texted her and she had a couple things, but they really weren't really negatives. They were more of tips Yep. Uh, that I did pick up from watching some vlogs before we went that definitely helped. But um, very, very few. Um, it, it really comes down to sometimes you look at things that they're doing to generate money when it really takes away from the enjoyment of 99% of the people in that area. And I'll I'll get into that later. Um, But I have never, whoever planned this cruise has either one been around cruising for a long time in cruise ships, or they're very, very, they listen and, and they figure out how to solve problems. And not really problems per se, but they figured out ways to keep people from waiting. So anytime people are on vacation, and I don't care if it's a cruise or not a cruise, people don't like to wait. They don't like it. They want everything right away. They want everything expedited. And this cruise ship had so many things that did that, that at times you didn't even realize it. And then you had to stop and think, okay, now I understand why they put escalators on the ship. And it is so innovative. Um, and it's just, there's just so many little things. And, and I have a list 
But I do have to preface everything I talk about the icon. So when I talk about cruising, I consider when people say, how was your cruise versus how was the ship, two completely different things. Okay. So I've been on 41 cruises, and I've yet to be on a bad one. I have had an incredibly great time on every single one of them. And I will just say this uh, as a shout-out to Jamie and Sharon, because this was not intended to be a group cruise. They made it into a very special group cruise. It was a smaller group. They planned things um, that everybody had fun at. Some people went their own way, did th this or that. Um, but they made the – it didn't matter what ship we were on. We would have had a great cruise. That's the way I will preface this. Double. They do such an amazing job of making everybody feel welcome and everybody trying to get to know each other and just enjoying each other's company that we could have been on the majesty of the seas. It's no longer around. The, the it still would of the seas. What the hell is that? Yeah, the sovereign of the seas, the monarch of the seas, all of these that don't exist anymore. Or they're in Azamar, but uh, they do such a great job and they, it, I, I, I I can't go on enough about that. But so I'm focused more on the cruise ship because the cruise itself was awesome. It's really, really good. You've heard this a million times, and I have to say it again. It's great to see people that you've cruised with before that you've become friends with. It's also great to cruise with new people that you've just met. Yep. That all of a sudden you feel like you've known forever. Uh, we definitely had a smaller group, so it was easier uh, to get together and have just little events, but they did such a great job. Really, my hat's off to them again. Daniel uh, yeah. Dan Daniel Field says his first cruise was Monarch of the Seas. Kevin Brubaker said, I would have a sinking feeling if I was on Monarch of the Seas right now. Uh, uh, Majesty is the next one, says Jamie from Sharon at Sea. <laughs> and there's one thing yeah. I do want to bring it's up. It's scrapped. This was brought up in the chat, so I'm going to say it out loud. Yep. Yeah. I knew that our friend, dear friend, uh, quite frankly, I don't, I mean, I don't know that friend is necessarily the best descriptor uh, for him because much like you, uh, yes, you're my friend, but you're more than that, right? Uh, Kevin Brubaker, the chisel. I had no idea. I knew you had some health issues, but never one time did you tell me that the C word was involved, okay? If you did... I truly, truly don't remember that. So um, I am so glad to see in the comments that you found out today uh, that you're C-word free. So That's awesome. I didn't know it either. I had never heard that. I didn't know it either, but... Great news. Agreed. And that's that's the cruising community. I mean, you get uh, you get involved with people, and and you you get very sad when you hear bad things happening to people, and then you get very happy when they have good things happen to them. So it's 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 uh, it was it was really really good being with the people we were we were with. Um, well, I, I I can't go on about that enough. But like I said, it doesn't matter what cruise ship we would have been on. This group would have had an amazing time together. And I, I hope everybody else feels the same way. And Melissa definitely feels that way also. I will, I will just say it. This is my best way to put it. So we had scheduled Cigars Under the Stars Wednesday night. It was about 9 o'clock. It's outside, but it was a great area. It was a bar right there. And the women wound up all around each other. The men wound up congregating around each other. And I don't know who had more fun, the women or the men. It's a toss-up. Those are the only cigars I had for the week, and it was awesome. But all we heard was laughing and cackling from the women. And I turned to Jamie, and I'm like, who's having more fun here? It's, I, I think they might have us. I think they might have beat us out. We got a little, we got a, we heard a little bit about what was going on, and they, they were having fun. They were having a great time, and I was so happy. That they had that much fun with us with cigars under the stars right okay wendy well, am i right i did want to say i did want to say today i'm the winner
Mr. Brubaker. Very nice. I agree. Yes. Yes. So I heard a few stories about cigars under the stars. Um, okay. Fire away. Well, no, I just, I, 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 nothing I would, you know, I, but I, I did see that um, Wendy Johnstone commented, and I, I heard she was quite involved in Cigars Under the Stars. Uh, but uh, Roger agrees there was a lot of cackling uh, <laughs> going on. And I love the word cackling. Uh, cackling is a, uh, you know, a great word to describe uh you know, sometimes, never mind. Larry, Jamie Fair wants fun. you to uh, just drop it like it's hot right now uh, and say what your favorite bar is. But I feel like you shouldn't do that just yet. I can't do that. Sorry, I can't do that. But I will touch on a few things. And these are things that everybody <laughs> wants to know right away. Cackling in the coop. I like it. So we stayed, um, we were in the same hotel as Jamie and Sharon. Uh, and which hotel yeah, we was that? To, we were at the Homewood Suites, and it was, uh, I'm going to say it took us about 20 minutes to get to uh, the port. But again, it, you go to the port, it's just a lot of cars. But traffic wasn't bad. Here was the best part. We pulled up in an Uber. We sat in no traffic. We were to board at 1130, I think, and we got there at about 1115, drove right up. Went right to a baggage guy, had the bags out of the car. He had them. Uh, we had our bag tags on. He showed us the door to go in. He had it. We're off. We walk down. We walk into a line. We walk straight into a, a line that had two people in front of us. They checked in. We go up there. They scan your passport. I don't know why, but they retook our pictures. After that, she's like, go on in. We walked in. You go through the terminal. You, you forget how beautiful the terminal is because you're just walking through it. You go up the elevators. You go through security. Security took no more than three minutes. Get your picture taken to get on board if you want that. Walk around the corner. You're on the ship. From the time we pulled up in the Uber to the time we stepped on the ship, no way it was more than 15 minutes. And half of that was just the walk, the time it takes you to walk. Embarkation is just unbelievable. It is unbelievably fast. Well, that's a good, uh, at, that's a very good attestation to the embarkation. I remember old days, if you weren't of a certain level, there was one line and people would stand in that line for two hours, two hours, kind of like going through security at the airport coming home at Miami. That took us about an hour and 40 minutes. But well, Tony it, Jackson said Cigars Under the Stars was awesome. Oh, but tremendous. Wendy Johnstone says it started with me asking Melissa if she had a pool growing up, and she found the question odd. Hey, I did, Larry, very quickly. I yeah. know there's a lot to cover tonight, but I, I, I do want to make a special shout-out um, to someone this evening. Okay. I don't know why I need music for it, but, you know, I feel like that just gives it a little bit more panache, a little bit more, you know, whatever. Wait a minute. Maybe I Style. Could, yeah, maybe I could do this. I think this might be better. Oh, boy. Never mind. It's gone. But anyway, I wanted to give a very special shout out to the one and only Angela Nemechek. Here's to you. Here's to me. Best of friends will ever be. And if we ever disagree, well, then here's to you again. <laughs> So here's the here's the big difference. So you walk on, you walk on the promenade. I do like the idea, Larry. That so forget embarkation, like that yeah. part of it. But yeah. on a port day, right? Like you're okay. yeah, you're in a port, yes. and that freaking escalator. Okay. Like, so when it you're allows first you on to the disperse. Ship, when you're first on the ship. And you're walking around, you see an escalator and it goes from the promenade down to the casino. 
And I was like, oh, okay. I guess they're trying to make it as easy as possible to go in the casino. So they have an escalator. I don't really think much of it. So on the first port day, when we're coming back, for whatever reason, again, there's no line to get on the ship. You go on, literally, you go through, you scan your card, put your bag through the x-ray, and you walk out. There's an escalator. You get on the escalator, it takes you up a floor, you turn, you go up the escalator again, you're on the Royal Promenade. When you get on the Royal Promenade, there is a towel station waiting for you to take your dirty, old, wet towels right then and there. So you discard That them. was an aggressive description, though. I mean, your dirty, <laughs> wet, old towels. Well, like, they are, they're what handy. the hell are you doing in the port? I mean, oh, for crying out loud. One tan lotion, they're wet. <laughs> I'm just water, kidding. I'm just and kidding. So you get rid of those. Right there, you can get a drink at the Point and Feather or some 1400. They're, they're right there, but you're on the promenade. You can go to one side, go to the other. You're on elevators. There's 12 elevators at each side. There's no oh. waiting. There's there's no, in the old days, you get hey, on. We're getting a call, Larry. Oh, okay, here we go. Hold on. Hello? Oh boy. Hello? Oh boy, hold on a second. We gotta fix this. Uh there we go. Can you hear me? Oh boy. Yeah, but, oh wait, 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 wait. Can you hear me, my friend? You you gotta stop pressing buttons right there. Okay, I hear buttons. Okay, I hear you now. Hey, John and Larry. Hello. Hey, this is Billy. Hey, hey Billy. It's Bully Alley Billy. Long time no here. <laughs> yeah, but I'm 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 in between uh, uh, matches right now, and uh, I I got you on my phone here, and uh, I, I see the they got escalators on that boat there. You betcha. They come to their senses yet. They got they got a bowling alley over there. No, they don't have that yet. Nope, nope. You'll have to stick to Norwegian with that Canadian bowling. Uh, I I can't go cruising without throwing some, you know, at the pins. You'll have to find one at at one of the stops. I I'm sure they had a bowling alley at St. Thomas. What about uh? I'm going to San Juan. In a little bit. San Juan? Yeah, my, my sponsor's sending me down for a bowling tournament down in San Juan. Are you talking about uh, Puerto Rico, Billy? Yeah, yeah, that Rico place. Okay. You, uh, I, I don't know where to stay, man. You, you got any recommendations in San Juan? I think they have a YMCA. <laughs> Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, uh, Larry. That was a super awesome comment. I didn't mean to drop the... Uh, I meant to say cluck. I'm so sorry. Uh, I don't think they got them uh, bowling alleys at YMCA. So, um, well, not that they want... Not to, I don't know about that. I don't know about all that right there. I'm curious, though, Billy. What's your world ranking right now? I'm concerned about that, I and mean, my sponsor's happy with me. And uh, you know, I just keep rolling and keep rolling, as they say. And uh, you know, the things will take care of themselves. I got I had my, I had my, I had my sixth 280 game the other day. Okay, I like so I'm, it. I'm very happy about that. I'm curious. I'm sure Larry is too. Uh, who is your sponsor? Uh, you know, you ever hear that club man? <laughs> yes. Are you? You're talking about the fragrance that comes in a plastic spray bottle that you find at golf courses. Yeah, that green stuff. Yes, yes, I have heard. Yeah, of club you know, man. like aftershave and smelly, smelly juice, and you know, <laughs> deodorant and all that. Yes. Yeah, club man. Sounds good. I get it free. Well, next time, if I ever get to meet you, a bully, Ollie Billy, I would like to. I, I sure hope. I'm, sta I, 
I'll send you some. Yeah, I would love to try some Clubman. I think uh, when you play this little game you do, uh, the little this or thems or thats or I, I think that could be a good prize. I think I could get them to <laughs> a pony bo- up some freebies. <laughs> a bottle of Clubman. I <laughs> like it. I love yeah. it. That is fabulous. As a matter of fact, uh, uh, get paint me inspired, uh, Billy. All right, well, I, I, I got, I'm up. I got to go. Okay, hey, just, just, just so you know, maybe this will be inspiration for you. Jamie Wilhite says that she has two 300 rings that belong to her late brother. So keep that in mind when you, uh, when you uh, make the next roll. Where, where are they at? Yeah, they're probably on her finger. Mm, I like that. <laughs> well, listen, we wish you the best, Billy. Uh, hopefully uh, y- y- you win tonight, and uh, we'll be following along on ESPN 17 for the uh, San Juan tournament. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm happy about that. I'll let you know where I end up. Uh, uh, I've never been to San Juan before, so I'm looking forward to it. All right. Are you, dri- are you driving there? Uh no, I'm I'm taking a uh, spirit air. Oh, spirit. Yep, that sounds about right. Yeah, yeah. And I got about I got some good leg room. I, they ponied up for that for me, so I got to pay for my ball. But <laughs> wait, is that considered a full carry on, or is that considered a check back? Like, do you have to check your balls? Or do you have to like, or or can your balls be carry on? Oh yeah, when they're this size, man, you got you got to check your balls. Okay, well, you know that's a good segue uh, to the gentleman watching tonight. You know, uh, it is uh, always appropriate uh, to be aware of testicular cancer. So always, like what, what, like bowling okay. alley Billy says, always check your balls. Yeah, you got there you go. Man. All right, throw, throw them, baby. I'll see you later. All right, buddy. All right, good to hear from you. Oh shit! Uh, now I see. I did it twice, Larry. I'm so sorry. Uh, Leah Rini, Leah, I got your phone. I feel so terrible. The timing has been so poor on my part. Uh, Leah's my niece. Uh, she's in the chat. She says, I think it's a personal item. And that was, a, I mean, if you're, if we're being honest, Larry. Yes, let's be honest. Uh, I'm trying, Larry. I'm trying. You're looking for something. I got so much stuff going on. Oh, there we go. It's this. Leah. There we go. Leah, that was. Super awesome comment. Yes, it is. A personal item. Okay. All right. Let's get back. Let's get back to this. All right. All right. So the way you were describing it to me, though, Larry, was like, okay, you know, let's say you're in uh, Cozumel or whatever, you know, and you come back to the ship. The escalator spits you out uh, uh, on that promenade. Which, you know, that gives people room to disperse. Okay, so this is the other part. So you've been on ships with the Royal Promenade. Mm-hmm. I've been on ones with you that have that. Yes. When I say it is twice as wide, I am not exaggerating. That's the difference of this ship versus the Oasis class. They are. T- it is every bit of twice as wide. So when you walk down the Royal Promenade, you never... The one time I was crowded was the midnight balloon drop because everybody wants to be under the balloons. And it still was manageable. But Who's blowing up those balloons, Larry? Who's I doing mean, that? I, I thought about that. I'm like, do they, do they pick one person for color? It's a lot of balloons. Larry, It was really cool. It, it, it was... I thought it'd be like, well, I wouldn't experience it. But actually, it was really cool. They had... Music playing. It was a lot of fun. It was really cool. And I made it to midnight. Not too much after that, though, on the first night. But I made it to that, and it was it was a lot of fun. But when you come off, get on that ship, and you're on that Royal Promenade, 
you you have so many choices. If you want to go right to your room, yeah, you turn right or left. You have twelve elevators to that that will take you right up. If you want to go somewhere, uh, right there, grab a quick drink, grab a soda, grab whatever you want. It's all right there, and you're on the ship just within minutes of getting there from off the ship. Where before. I remember walking, I don't always say walk up two or three floors, then try to get on an elevator. And then the doors would open and it would be jam-packed to people. Uh, getting on from Port Days was just such a breeze. They really thought this out well. Um, well, yeah. I mean, if you think about it, like the, some of the other ports, right, depending on the port and how high the ship was in relation to the sea level, um, you could end up in different ports entering the ship on different levels on the ship, right? But, like, for the most part, on a royal cruise, um, you're going to end up in this weird area down below decks, um, you know, where everybody's crammed in. Yes, the towel people are there, but then everyone's, like, trying to get to the elevators, and you can't, right? You just can't. So the escalator thing... Uh, the pro tip in all of it is that what you really need to do is go up a few flights of steps and then head the opposite di direction of the gangway and catch an elevator there. That's how, how you a uh, pro does it, like Larry and I, um, and probably Tess. Yeah, of course, Tess. But um, with this escalator thing, it... There's no need. It, There's it, just no need. Yeah, I like it. I like it. There is no need. It was so again, what I thought was a quick way to get people to go to the casino was not the case at all. Not at all. It, it, it that was awesome. So when you go on the Royal Promenade, the first thing you see is the pearl. And the pearl is completely different. It's uh really cool for pictures and all that. But the bigger thing is behind it is floor to ceiling windows. Yeah. Oh, so wait. you have Larry, yes. can you explain this comment from Matt Bird? He says, I blew one up every time I had a dose Equis. He's not talking about the last night of the cruise, is he? That was him? So it was him after all. That was Matt after all. Okay. And I took all the heat for it. Well, the, At the schooner bar. The mystery. If you were there, solved. you know what I'm talking about. I took the heat for somebody. I little did I know it was Matt Bird. Okay, well, it, th now we know. Matt Bird, good on you for... Okay, he finally came clean. He came clean. I like... Oh, oh, he's saying no, 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 no. I don't know. I did, as of now, in this chat... Oh, he was talking balloons. Gina yeah. Bird said he was talking balloons. <laughs> oh, so Matt Bird's saying he's the one who blew up all the balloons every time he had a Dos Equis. That's how they had so many. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so... Uh, you know, <laughs> you, you you see Matt Bird, you see Doseki, you see Doseki. There's Matt Bird. They're they're just hand in hand, no doubt about it. Yes, yes, indeed. Okay, so Larry. Yeah. Another question. I love you too, Leah. I just saw you're coming. Um, I'm asking you a question, like personal, uh, personal to me. Uh. Describe the main dining room on Icon of the Seas. It's the best, the best dinners I've ever had in the main dining room. Does the dining our, room our, itself stand out like? A oh, it's it's. So we were lucky enough. We were on the third floor, the the, the bottom floor. So uh, the fourth and the fifth above us were open. So we were like on the main floor. Yep. Um and. I was facing the front the first couple of nights and one of the, I think it was the la actually the last night I was facing back and I was like, I this huge chandelier and this huge artwork. It was, it was really a cool place. It was really, really cool. There is no doubt about it. You definitely felt like you were in a super fancy restaurant. Um, and I will say this, uh, the staff now Royal's not dumb. Of course they chose the best of the best from all their ships and put them on on the icon, but you've never seen friendlier people just going out of their way to make sure you're, you were having a great time. Yeah. Our, our, our staff, um, did they do the like dining, the whole thing? Oh, they did. Yeah. So these people I know that kind of are big on another cruise line, 
came to me after the first thing. Like, now has Royal ever done that before? Like they do it all the time. They yeah. sing and dance all the time. I someone asked me that recently too. They do it all the time. It's not. But like, it's I will not say this every night, like carnival. <laughs> almost though, it was almost. I'm gonna say uh, the first night I wasn't there because that was my one complaint. I'll go on that later. But I wasn't there. But I'm gonna say almost every other night that I was there five of the seven nights, and I remember it every night. And they like really got into it. They brought the washy washy guys right in front of us. And what about Spider Man? What's uh, uh, he brought- was a washy? He was a washy washy guy. So if you went up to the Windjammer at times, he was decked out as Spider Man. Why I have no idea. I I'm sure the kids loved it because all the kids wanted to get their picture taken with him. So he showed up the one night, the last night in the dining room with the singing and dancing, wearing his Spidey outfit. Well, that's yeah. you no. Know, that brings up a good question. Um, uh, were there a lot of kids? Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. So again, it's spring break. It's spring break. Uh, yep. the cruise ship is definitely, uh, marketing towards families. And there, there were, there were a lot of kids. You, at times you notice them, but I would say 80% of the time I did not. They kind of have their areas. They pretty much gravitate to those. So, for example, the surf side that used to be the boardwalk, that's really just for young kids. Young oh, kids really? Families. Oh, I did that's, not that's, know that. So the front yes. end of the ship there, where that was the boardwalk. Boardwalk's actually the back. So it's like, the very back where the yeah, diving the show used to be. So where the diving yeah. show used to be, that's now like a, a, a littler kid's water park. There's a smaller pool there. They have the carousel. It is definitely. I went back there a couple times. Okay, and it's it's and they they do all they had clowns and all kinds of shows, and puppet shows. That's where families with young kids go. So they pretty much gravitate into that area. Now the when you get to a little bit of the older kids, of course they love to hang out at the pools. Hey, uh, Larry most, Clifford yeah. Sutton wants to say hello to you. Hey, dude, that's my brother-in-law. All right, thanks for uh, thanks for tuning in. So um, the pools, I mean, yeah. So the, there's only one adult-only pool, and that's in my favorite part of the ship, the hideaway. And, Wait, um, is the hideaway the same as the... Um, uh, uh, what's the adults-only area? On solarium. It? Yeah, is that the same thing? There, no, there is no solarium on this ship. So there is no indoor adults-only area. This is, uh, I believe it was deck 15. The very back of the ship. So you have a uh, infinity pool. Uh, it was great at night. We were there the first night uh, for sail away and the sunset going. It was awesome. Was it on adults the, only? Adult 18 and above. Yes. So on the right side, they have loungers and it's the it's the stadium seating. So stadium seating loungers on one side. On the other side was the bar. And then they had all kinds of tables, chairs. They had like stadium kind of like double chairs stadium seating loungers so they have that on like oasis allure at the one big pool so okay. it's it's the you go up steps and they have different levels so the higher up you went with a lounger the better you saw uh the ocean and the wake from the ship okay yep they had a dj playing a lot of people said it was loud i didn't think it was loud at all but i'm kind of hard of hearing but it was just a i really really liked that area it was my favorite part of the ship. The the here's the other thing. Every place has a bar. I don't care where you go. Even that kids area for Surfside, they have a bar, and every bar has their own themed drinks. And I don't mean drink. I mean drinks. So you get a menu, and they might have six to eight drinks that are pretty much for that place. Not to say that you couldn't go somewhere else and get some of these, but they really did a good job of having, uh, have you investigate going to different bars. So the one day Jamie and Sharon did uh, organize the, they called it a pub tour. We went to 12 places. It was, it was awesome. It was really, really cool. And when you go there, you're looking at the menu and you're thinking, Hey, I'm going to try this. I'm going to try that. Yeah. Uh, some things I liked, some things I didn't, but it was just really cool. Really, really cool that you just don't go to a bar and it's the same old same old. It's just like it's a lime and coconut, the one, 
If you wanted a frozen drink, they had about six stations where they're already made. So there's no wait. You go up there, you say, I want a watermelon, whatever. He pours okay, it, so gives like, it to you. There you go. You don't have to get the damn blender going to make one drink. Yeah. It's so, so there's it's so many like things Vegas. that speed things up. Yeah. 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 Yep. And then they had other levels of lime and coconut that they did make mix things, but there's so many venues. Yeah, that I very rarely remember waiting to order a drink. Well, I think that's what contributes. Uh, I mean, I think it's been well established to this point. I think that's what contributes to it not feeling as crowded as so many people think it will be. Like you hear all of these purists commenting all the time about, oh, if, if the ship's too big, you know, then at what point is it too many people? Listen, if you can go on a ship that holds how many people? What was it? 70, eight? It was about 7,500. Yeah, and it does not feel crowded. And believe me, a majority of people who have cruised those ships have said it did not feel crowded. Then somebody's doing something right. Now, that being said, uh... Larry, and I think you'd agree with me on this, that uh, a big ship is great. That's cool. All the new amenities, the new class is always exciting. But uh, when it boils down to it, a crowded ship is a... I mean, I get frustrated waiting in line at the drive-thru, let alone, you know, when I'm on vacation. So if a ship that big doesn't feel crowded, uh, somebody's doing something right. So, I'm so again, it. think about when you're like on, uh, let's just say our last, when we were on the Liberty and you go to the pool bar, it'll be six people mm -hmm. deep, literally six people deep to order a drink. Yeah. This one, uh, I'm not crazy about all the pools, but they have so many and every pool has a bar right there with a different theme. So there's just never really, you never wait. Everything about this ship was engineered for a lot of people to cruise and and to cut down on your wait time uh and and just make your experience just so much better than than ships of the past with a lot of people so i i, I promise you there were i remember one night we did have early dining and we would it was at five and i'm gonna say it was about it was definitely during the late time and so uh we're walking down the royal promenade it's like 8 30 at night yeah how long does that take like for real i'm asking that legitimately if you start at one at like is it that much bigger than most or is it just no, wider it's just wider it's okay. it's really no longer than the oasis okay. class gotcha. it really is not all right now there's way more stuff so you get sidetracked and you just don't kind of buzz through it but it is so ridiculously wide it just makes it wonderful and again so you go up one floor, that's deck six, and on the outsides, you can go all the way through front to back. Oh, okay. So on the Oasis class, it stops you. It dead ends. Like yeah, you got to go bar. up and down. and yeah. Right. This one, it goes all the way through. Now, I did feel a little uncomfortable. The one side at night, it takes you right through Giovanni's, and I felt a little uncomfortable that I'm walking kind of through the restaurant uh, but the other side, nothing. It, it was. It just wait, 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 wait. Yeah. So you're talking on deck six. Yes. If you're trying to get uh from one side of the ship to the other, you literally walk through Giovanni's to get. Yes. Yes. Boy, I thought it was awkward when I had to walk through the buffet on Carnival, let alone Giovanni's. But, yeah, but you're not. You're not. You're not close to anybody eating, but it's a pathway that you walk. Through. Yeah, but okay. So let's just. So that say was the one thing I thought was a little weird. But everything is open on this. Um, so I've heard complaints about it, but I see it as a positive. So, for example, uh, in uh, Central Park, they have a new place called Lou's Jazz Club. It's all open. It's all open. So if it's really crowded and loose jazz and you want to still just listen, you can sit in Central Park and you can listen to the music. Oh, okay, yeah. But you don't have to be in the venue. So if you want to walk through Central Park and not hear music, that's not going to happen. If you want to walk through the promenade and not hear a band playing, it's not going to happen. Okay, it's but all open. Here's my question, though. Yep. 
uh, okay, picture this. Coop Cruise, yep. 2026 on Icon of the Seas. Yep. And someone gets the bright idea to do a um, bar crawl, yep. right? Yep. Uh, you know, and I would most likely leave it up to either you or Arnold to figure out the logistics of where we were going from point A to B to C to Z. But uh, are you saying that literally 100 people could walk right through Giovanni's? Oh, easily. Oh, wow. That's interesting. Okay, I yeah. get it, though. I get yeah. it. I, I mean, get it. you would have to be, like, kind of only, like, three or four wide. And I, I guess part of it is uh, they might be thinking if you walk through it, you see it, you smell it, you'd be like, hey, I'd like to eat here one night. But I get that. I get that, too, and that's kind of yeah. smart. But, uh, but you I, did, know I did feel a little uncomfortable walking through when people are eating. Well, but, at least I mean, at literally least... 10 seconds and you're through it. It's like, wasn't that big a deal. Uh, at least you um, didn't have the gastrointestinal problems at, when you were walking through there. Uh, Cindy Bridges. No, no, no. Uh, wait, was it Cindy that said that? Cindy? Uh, no, Jennifer tries that. She said, wait, is there another Coop Cruise 2026? No. No, I was just hypotheticalizing. <laughs> but uh, Matt Bird, Larry, says he doesn't yeah. remember the, the, the bar tour. <laughs> I, I, I like that you guys called it a tour. I mean, come on. That, it's a crawl. That was, that, it's that a was crawl. Jamie's. Let's not now, be. Jamie said we're going to class it up, and ours is going to be a tour. No, it's a crawl. It's a crawl, and I will not stand for this. This is I will why not it wasn't stand a crawl. for it. It's a bar crawl, not a tour. Okay. Well, we did 12 bars, in, 12 bars in three hours. Okay, that's Maybe great. So that makes it a up. crawl, Larry. It's a crawl. It's not a tour. Stop it. Well, just because you had FOMO, you don't have to, like, poop on our parade. Uh, listen, I'm glad you guys had fun, but I, I am not on board with the naming of it. It's not a tour. You're crawling from bar to bar. If I Matt Byrne doesn't remember it, then it's a crawl. I will say this. So, I wish somebody would have filmed this. Our very last stop. And this is like it. I think we got there. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Oh, yep. Tell us the port she went to. Oh, we went to uh, St. Martin, St. Thomas, and Coco Cay. Okay. And unfortunately, um, it was it was really rough rough water. So uh, it's been touched on. The ship definitely rocked side to side. Uh, at times, I would have to grab a railing in that. And I didn't really realize how rough the water was until we got to St. John and we got to um, Trunk Bay. And I decide as soon as you got there, everybody is at the very, as soon as you get there, they're sitting there because the water was coming up all the way, all the way. So I decided to go try to get in the water and I'm venturing out. And all of a sudden I got hit and I'm not exaggerating. It was an eight foot wave and I tried to jump over it. No dice. It it knocked the crud out of me. Sent me flying, my hat flying, my sunglasses off. I quick saw my hat. I grabbed it. By the time I grabbed it, it sucked me right back out into the ocean. Got smacked by another wave. Take it up. I was like a beached whale up on the sand now. My trunks were halfway down my butt. <laughs> sand is everywhere. I've lost my hat again. And Melissa comes to the rescue. She comes running down. Coming down saying, oh, my God, you keep falling. Your balance is terrible. I said, you think I slipped in sand? I said, I got smacked by a big old wave. And she's like, oh, come on. Let's go back out. And she takes two steps and another one. Whoo! Just smacked us. Her glasses went flying. $300 sunglasses gone. Gone. She gets up, helps me up, and I'm like, nah, you see, I didn't slip. It was it was really rough. And then uh, I was on, I got back on a ship, and I met this guy that I kind of knew from way back. And he said, we went Wait, to Megan's a Bay. a guy that was on the ship that you knew from way back? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep. He played hockey for a junior team in St. Louis. I didn't recognize him. He had a USA hockey tattoo on his back, and. He came up and said something, and next thing you know, I'm like, oh, God, I do remember you. 
Anyway. Oh, the hockey so world. I love it. Yeah. Larry. Wait, wait. Yeah. You you kind of poo pooed that a little bit. So what? wait no. a minute. So yeah. so you were at the beach and did you like see his tattoo and say hey? No, who? no, no. We were. So this was the this was the next day. We were the day on the ship, and I was wearing a hat I got from from St. John's. It said Trunk Bay, and so he said, "Hey, did you go there?" And I said, "Yes." Yeah. So he started talking to me. And I just said, hey, I got to ask you, what's with the USA hockey tattoo on your back? He said, oh, well, uh, hockey's done a lot for me in, in my life, blah, blah, blah. And I said, where are you from? He said, Detroit. He said, where are you from? I said, St. Louis. He said, oh, my God, my first year of junior hockey was for a team that was only one year. I said, you played for the Hart and Eagles, and your coach was Rick Zombo. Your last name is H-O-D-T. He's like, yeah, you're right. See, that's what I'm saying. I knew there was more to that story, Larry. That's fantastic. Yeah. yeah that's fantastic. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So anyway, he was on his honeymoon and he said, um, we went to Megan's Bay and we heard the knock on it. It's like a bath. He's like, there were three, four foot waves there. Mm -hmm. So then it made sense to me why the ship was rocking. It, it was just rough water. When yeah. our last day when we left Coco and we were going back to Miami, I mean, now that was like sailing in a bathtub. I had no idea we had already left port. It was just like, like that just goes to show you, you can feel the movement. It's up to the water, the ocean. The ocean's rough. You're going to feel movement. I never felt even remotely close to nauseous, but at night, you could feel the rocking in bed. It well, kind of like rocked you to sleep. I mean, imagine... Uh in those conditions being on the spirit you'd have been jostled around there did have been people would have been getting seasick yeah there'd probably been uh you know another video of like uh, stuff rolling across the decks or whatever yeah yeah but, i mean shoot man i feel like we could go forever but it's already a quarter after 10 should we go to the game or do you got okay more to i got say? i just i gotta bring up one other thing that's really overlooked Okay. Really over like, and that was a fun intended. So when you go to the Aquadome, which is now inside, I, I, I do have to bring this up really quick too. This is how good the shows are. I didn't fall asleep one time. Not once. <laughs> that Not says once a lot. That yes, says a lot. Because I almost always fall asleep in these. And the Wizard of Oz is like an hour and a half. The the Aqua show's long. They're, they're longer shows, and I did not fall asleep once, not even during Mosaic, the headliner, which was just not my thing. They were like the bebopper things. It just wasn't my thing, but I, I still enjoyed it. You know, I wouldn't see it again, but I'm glad I saw it. Um, Jamie was we, telling me about something called the... Um, oh, shoot. It was like an acapella group. That's them. Uh, that's it. Oh, Okay. All right. See, um, I feel like I would love that. You would have loved it. There is no doubt. You would have absolutely loved it. Yeah. Um, searching my notes. Oh, it was called Mosaic. And That's they replaced that they replaced the S with a five. That's so there it. Was five of them. Yep. And I mean it it just wasn't my thing, but I still enjoyed it. And like I said, I I'm glad I went. If they said, Hey, you could go to see them again this week, I would have passed. Okay. Um, but, but the shows this... were phenomenal. Just phenomenal. Really, really good. Wendy uh, Johnstone agrees with you on Mosaic. Yeah, it was it was good once. I guess I'm just a little too old for that type of thing. But I'm, I'm but, like I said, I'm very glad I did it, and I stayed awake for that too. I I didn't fall asleep once. I didn't even come close to falling asleep once in the shows. So my last, so the Aqua Dome is in the front. You see the big glass dome. When you walk, that's not the front of the sh all the way to the front of the ship. When you walk in front of that, it has a place called the Overlook. The Overlook is, again, I, I would say at least three stories tall. Floor to ceiling windows all the way around. It's got all kinds of chairs, comfy chairs. Hmm. It's got these pods, these elevated pods with, with that give you like isolation. It has a bar right there. It has another bean something bar that is specially coffee drinks that, and are just regular specialty coffees. But it is the view from that during the day is unbelievable. And when you go there on a sea day during the day, you will see people reading. You'll see people napping. You'll see people just relaxing. 
So when people say it's a hustle and bustle ship, you have to know where to go to find these serenity type of areas. And yeah. that was a really, really popular place uh, during the day for people. And like I said, I saw people on their laptops working, people reading. But it well, was just here's a really, my really take. cool view. Here's my take on that. You know, if you're sleeping, if you're napping, if you're doing work, if you're doing anything other than sitting there looking out the window and enjoying the view, get the flock out. You don't belong there. Go. Go. No, I'm, yeah. I'm just kidding. Right. I'm totally playing. I, I, I'm just messing around. But Flamingo Pam's here. Uh, hey, moderator Pam. of the ship show. Uh, she's on the Rotterdam right now, like on a back to back to back to back to back thing. Uh, so welcome Larry. My niece brought up a good point. Yeah. Had slipping digits been the act instead of mosaic. Do you think you would have stuck around for, a I would have crashed the stage and started the dance party. Okay. All right. That's all we wanted to know. Is that the answer you wanted? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I, you know, I, yes, yes, it is. It, like I said, they were entertaining. I, I'm not going to say I disliked it because I didn't. I just, I would not. I mean, before the show started, they showed clips of like Jay Leno and all kinds of celebrities raving about the guys. And so I was really excited. Oh, so they're, they're well, it's a, oh, they're uh, a they're, known yeah. group. Oh, yes. Very okay. well. I'll yes. have to look them up. I'll have to look them yeah. up. Yeah, you would. You, I'm telling you, you would love them. You would go back for a second show. Yeah, no yeah but that it. acapella music that that's a subgenre of my um, like that 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 hits me deep. You, it's just that uh, you know all the noise making of the instruments and that. It's I, yeah, I, I get it. It was cool for a while, but you know I don't know if it lasted an hour. It was just like when it was over. I mean, it, I enjoyed it. I did. I really enjoyed it. I just. It was my least favorite of the big shows. Thank you, Roger. Um, no, I get it. It, it. You you either like that kind of stuff or you don't. And quite frankly, you're either good at it or you're not. But like in my family, and uh, Leah uh, can attest to this, Caitlin can attest to this, it's a tradition in our home. Pentatonic's Christmas album is playing uh, directly after the James Taylor Christmas album when we're decorating the tree for Christmas. Not the, I, not the Jimmy Buffett Christmas album? No, we're not listening to the Jimmy Buffett. We're not listening to All I Want For Christmas Is You Baby. We're not doing any of that. We're listening to James Taylor's full album and then we're following it up with Pentatonix. And if there's more to do uh google play music will take care of it and it knows better than playing some kind of weird crap uh, so anyway I, I will say this too so i honestly can tell you this that um i did not just go to like one or two bars i was at the hideaway a lot during the day went to the schooner bar a lot a 1400 um I must say there was about five. Wait, wait what about the yeah. pub, Larry? The pub. Yes. Uh, yes, but the, here's the thing. Every every royal ship has one of those. So these other ships don't have the 1400. The 1400, again, had windows. I like Amy ocean. Grant, too. Uh, Amy Grant is the... I like Amy, Amy Grant. I know she's Christian, but I do like her voice. So, like, by day three, when I would walk up to the hideaway bar... The bartender be like, Lawrence, welcome back. Bloody Mary to start your day again. Uh, but yeah, but, but Larry, that's the best part about being like. Uh, and how do they do that with 7,000 people on the ship? Well, I think they, they, they pick out people like you and I, right? That maybe stand out from a crowd a little bit. And that they can, you know, they don't recognize everybody, but I think there's certain people that they get to know, you know. But let me ask you something. Yeah, go ahead. Was there a pub singer like, like, oh, like? So that's the part that nobody talks about with the shows. So the pub had a singer every night. They had a pub singer. Was the, it the same guy every night, or was it yes. different? Okay, okay, okay. The schooner bar. They had piano guys. The piano guy on our last night had this young girl who was a passenger 
singing with him. I thought she was part of the crew. And then somebody said, look, she's got a lanyard with a tag on with a, with yeah. a, she was amazing. So you have, you have the piano guy there. You have dueling pianos. You have, uh, the, the jazz club out on, uh, central park. You had all these places you could go that were music. There was a karaoke place. That was another thing. Wait, where Somebody was the this- karaoke place? Was it on the promenade back in towards the jammer? Uh, no, it was right there on the promenade, right? Kind of in the mix of everything, but that one was more enclosed. Okay. So it was not as much coming out into the yeah, promenade as yeah. the other ones. There's nothing worse than walking by, like walking through the promenade and, you know, uh, hearing some person singing Journey. Uh, you know, the famous Journey song. You know, there's nothing worse than that. Like, so I'm glad it's more enclosed. A lot, a lot. They had kids' time, and so a lot of the families with kids would be in there. So, karaoke is just not my thing. So it's like, if they can pack the place with with kids and all that, doing their thing, having fun, so be it. That's great. I have another but, question. Um, yeah, Jimmy is like so anti dueling pianos. It's not even funny. I don't know why. Larry, what's your stance on that? Like, I think I, I, I really have been bamboozled. Uh, yes, thank you, Leah. Like, you're walking down the promenade, right? And you're looking at some overpriced watches. And all of a sudden you hear, Don't believe it! Like, nobody wants that in their life. But for real, like... I have had such a good time every time I've been to a dueling piano show. Um, I'm curious what happened to Jimmy from Jamie from Sharon FC Travel that traumatized him so where he can't watch (laughs) that. So the one negative is it's a smaller venue for people pack the place. They love it. They have a great time there, but it is smaller. It is open so you can kind of be out, but it, a lot of people said they had a, a, another venue called the Music Hall. And they said they should have put that in there where you could really put in a lot of people. And I, I kind of see the point. But I'm just telling you, it's packed. Every time you walk by at the Dueling Pianos, it's packed. Roger, people are comment. whooping it up. People yeah. are whooping it up. They're having a great time. Why some don't like it, I can't answer that. But we did not spend a ton of time in it because it was hard to get in it. Well, um, Larry. And what- then you have... You have so many options. You walk 50 feet and you're in the schooner bar. You yeah. walk across the hall. You could go to Bolero's. You walk down. Wait, yeah. Bolero's was on the promenade? Oh, yeah. Okay. On deck six. On deck six. Did yes. it have that Mexican restaurant that's usually in Central or um, no, the boardwalk? That is, that is no more. Okay. A question, though. Yep. Um, for, well, you said that the, the karaoke or the yeah the karaoke place is right in the middle of the promenade yeah so is the dueling pianos in the promenade as well yes on deck six oh okay so two levels okay all right well again and are they selling all the tchotchkes in the middle of the promenade like we're used to the what the tchotchkes, like watches, like uh, the, the you know, T-shirt. It, there, there's places, but I mean, I will say that was a negative. I thought that the logo shop would have way, way more stuff. They always disappoint me in that yeah, shop. Yeah, especially like, uh, in all, I thought you could get like a picture frame, and all kinds of things. And I just thought it was lacking. It's like, you people are here to, to generate revenue and your your logo shop it, it yeah pretty bad it's just I'm glad, it was just lacking i i'm so glad you you touched on that because that's the one thing that i've always noticed about uh uh royal like they really they you know they'll put in a freaking high end bag like purse shop and they have one the, of those yeah in the back corner of the promenade they could really do themselves a favor in their logo shop with like much, 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 much more merch. 
I, I would have done triple the size. So when you go to that, that a lot of those high-end shops are on Central Park, and you walk by it, and it's like one person in it. It's like, hey, we got a new subscriber, Larry Panda what? H. What? What? Who? Panda H. Panda H. Welcome. Glad we, you joined we, us. We got to welcome him. Ready? All We're right. going to sing together. <laughs> Welcome to Panda H. We're so glad that you subscribed to a night. We're about to play a game. And Larry's going to take over right now. All right. So I will go through my notes. I'll no, you were one. supposed to sing to Panda H. I don't, I don't know your lyrics. How, I, how am I supposed to know what, what's coming next with your lyrics? I'm Are just playing, me? Larry. I'm playing. Okay, so, so literally, I I have tons to talk about. I, I I know we've got the game to play. I tried to come up with a list of negatives, and I did come up with a few things. Okay, well, I have it's an idea. So small, it's just so small. I have an like, idea, Larry. Yeah. Next week's live stream. Yes. I'm gonna make a thumbnail, and it's gonna be like all these lo like uh, YouTubers lately. All the bad stuff about the Royal Caribbean icon of the seas. That'll be the thumbnail. And we'll both be sitting there like this. Like, I'll give a disgusted look. Top 10 negatives of yeah. icon of the seas. Everything that's bad shocking, about no. icon. Top 10 shocking negatives. Yeah. How about that? <laughs> yeah. I was Everything that's to Jamie bad about the day. icon. The shocking I, I, truth. I told this to Jamie. I said, I'm going through all your vlogs. And all of a sudden, I saw this one with tons of views because you put shocking, shocking negatives. Yeah. <laughs> and like, you, you always I, have I, to have like a person like this, like, like in the thumbnail. We're, that's what we're doing next right, week. We'll give it a go. Good, we're, good idea. We're yeah. going to do that. Like the I dirty, mean, rotten negative. truth about Icon of the Seas, the things so, that nobody will tell you. I, I will say this. It's really quick. So when we booked this, you had two choices for main dining room. Five. Yeah, that's actually bull it crap. wasn't five. It wasn't five. It was five thirty, and I believe eight or eight thirty. So they switched it to five, and then the late one was eight thirty. Well, I think so many people complained. They've added another dining time, which is six forty-five. Oh, uh, that's the perfect dining time. Perfect. Perfect. So I said this. To wait, Jamie. wait, wait, wait. I, Let's yeah. let's we can't understate that. Six forty-five dining time is where it's at. Perfect. But yes. we had already booked our shows and everything based on five o'clock. So I get it, and I'm really not complaining about that. But on day one, how do you have sail away at five o'clock the same time as the first dining room? Oh, absolutely. But Jimmy, I just, Jimmy, we're not we're not making fun of you. Trust no, me. No, no, no. I'm just saying. Because he commented. He said that's how it works nowadays. I, I get it. And you know, now that I brought that up on the live stream, how about you want to bet that Sharon at Sea has a, a video this week about all the things we didn't like? I'm Shocking. watching y'all, SASD. Shocking. I'm Shocking. watching you. If you so, do it, I, just I said, want half the revenue. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying this to brag by any means, but I've been on 41 cruises. My favorite part of the cruise is sail away. It just it just does something. It gets me excited. I'm so happy to Even be there. Even on Royal, though? I mean, come on. I mean, the Royal You're sail away my... party is kind of like... No, because there, that doesn't exist on this ship. There is no big pool deck. So there is no big <laughs> sail away party. And if there is, oh I bet God. you anything it's on the promenade. Larry... Larry, I have to stop you right now. Yeah, go ahead. and I'm sorry. I mean, you know, it's a stream of consciousness here, but uh, there, there, there was another super, super awesome comment from someone, none other than my niece. And you know, it's it hits close to home here because I've really been doing some soul searching and and thinking about stuff. And I was just thinking about my sister, but this is what my niece just said. Wait, 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 wait. That's not what I wanted. Right here. Super awesome comment. Uh, my niece, Leah, says, is Sail Away a sick... Uh, so Leah is not a cruiser, right? Okay. She's never cruised before. She okay. wants to know if Sail Away 
is a Styx cover band. You know what I'm talking about? I'm sailing away. Oh, my gosh. What a great, great, great comment, Leah. Oh, Panda H, our new subscriber, says you guys rock. And I'm well, not... thank you for that. That's very nice of you. And he says, I'm not talking about a boat. So we rock just in general, Larry. All right. So here's my thing. If you're sailing out of Galveston or or even New Orleans, it's just not that exciting. But to me, New York or uh, Miami, you got that straight shot. You got my when we were in the hideaway, which is in the aft. So you got you're saying, you know, you got downtown Miami. We got out to see the sunset, which was awesome. We're in the back of the ship, and it was not crowded. It was I really liked it. It was really awesome. Um, so yeah. that's my only thing. It's like I do like that they added that that extra dining time of six forty five. Um, and I agree. I, that's why I we only missed the main dining room twice, and uh, the second time was because we were getting back on a ship from our port. We didn't get back on the ship to like four something. We're dirty, nasty from the ocean. And I was like, we'll never make it. Well, it's a good um, thing they had the people to take your towels, though. I mean, for crying yeah, out loud. Yeah, because they were nasty. <laughs> but I will tell you this. Shout out to my table mates. Uh, we, Ron and Penny, were so fun. They were so fun. They were funny. We had the best time with them. Um, and that's a great part of the group cruises. It really not even a group cruise. I've met great people in the main dining room, complete strangers that at the end of the cruise, you feel like you've known them forever. Uh, it's just a special thing eating in the main dining room with other people. And they were a hoot. I'll tell you this. We got drinks. I, I would, I, you know, my tip, bring a drink in the main dining room. I had set that down and our assistant waiter she would take our drink orders right off the bat. And within no time, you'd have another one. Yeah, and and uh, quite frankly, I'm not going to lie. That seems to be a royal problem lately. On the last two Bromania cruises, we've noticed that. It, it almost seems like the assistant they're, waiter. They're put out. They're, they're shocked that you want a cocktail with your meal. And, and it, it, I think they're... Well, they probably haven't. But what they should learn is people like us are not going to be discouraged by your um, lack of enthusiasm to get us a drink because we'll just get up and walk out to the bar outside the main dining room to get our own drink just to prove our point. But, like, I have noticed that on Royal lately. It, it almost seems uh, uh, ship for ship that it's it's – you're putting them off by actually ordering a drink with your meal, which I, not, I just don't not understand. Not in this case. I mean, just not in this case. She That's was, awesome. She was amazing. She would come back because she was your assistant waiter, so she comes me back and she'd say, I'd have half of one drink. I'd have a glass of wine, and she's like, can I get you something else? Do you want another one? I mean, they were they were great about that, but our, our table mates, they were great. They were funny. They were just a lot of fun. And yep. it was it 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 made dinner time that much more enjoyable. They were awesome. And yeah, well, that's the it, beauty of the. And then we're cruise. talking about, hey, Rhonda, what's your next cruise? Uh, are you on this one? Are you on this one? So, um, I, I'm just telling you, that, that's what cruising's all about: making friends, and especially with the cruising community that we've created, and not us, but Coop Cruise, Sharon, so many others that. You you get so excited to hear that they're going to be on a cruise you're on just coming yep. up again. Well, and, and that's so true, Larry, because like that's what I was saying at the beginning of the show is like I had FOMO because I saw all the people who were going right. And those people I consider, um, you know, family of mine, like, you know, I think a lot of times and this speaks to a point I wanted to bring up to tonight um within within the ship show community there's there's some ogs you know and there's uh, there's uh there's almost a core that i it's not a bad thing but in, in the beginning like some 
relationships were forged, right? And um, oftentimes it's easy to forget, like when new people come on board, um, they don't understand the dynamics of all that. Uh, with, without a doubt. There's yeah. no doubt about that. And and it's, you know, I've, I've started to learn, especially recently, um, that it's important to realize that. At the end of the day, when you talk about like your table mates, I know exactly what you're talking about when we're talking about sharing at sea travel and like their group cruises. Like after a week cruising with your friends like that, uh, those people, you know, become people that it doesn't matter. You see a post, like you see their face and you smile, you get happy. Yeah. Like they're your family. So it it's a real thing. And I know Larry, you're always talking about how great the group cruises are. Um, but it's so true because. So um, you saw, you heard of the crown, the, the, uh, crown edge, the Royal edge. I forget if it's crown edge or Royal edge where you get all harnessed up and you walk, a little bit and then you walk the plank and the oh plank yeah up. yeah that's gimmicky okay man. well Rhonda did it and with it they dropped the price a lot but with it she's got a gopro on so you get the video of the whole thing doing it it was cool it was really cool wait, and wait, i was just wait. like it drops you yes you're on a you walk out to a, a board like a diving board and you just stand there and you don't know when it's gonna happen wait 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 off the side of the ship yes and you're then on a zip line out around the ship back onto it. So you're standing on like a diving board out over the ocean on a sea day with the with the boat moving, and the end of it just goes boom, and you just drop out and out you zip line around. And she did it. Melissa wanted to do it really bad, and we screwed up and not getting it done. But Rhonda did it. She showed us the video. It was amazing. I was like, she man, she is like. She's yeah, on. She's you like you told me fun. privately, like Rhonda's a doer. Oh uh, my God, she's, Jamie, she's the best. Jamie from Sharon at Sea. I think we offended them enough that they left. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, they're taking the grandkids to get ice cream, and that's a rooster's rant that I'll save for another day. Uh, the, 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 you people with your freaking ice cream fascination. Two weeks ago, it was like 57 degrees here in Michigan, and there was a line outside of the freaking local mom-and-pop shop ice cream store, uh, the 300 people deep. Mind you, the ice cream store was right next to the grocery store. I am telling you. You could have gone to the grocery store, bought a whole five-gallon tub of ice cream, taken it home, made Sundays for 40 people, enjoyed them, sat down, and farted because of the lactose intolerance in a faster amount of time than you would have gotten through that line at the ice cream store. I mean, come on, people. We have a call. Wonder who this one's gonna be. Wait a minute, it's not coming through right. Uh, uh, there we go. Who, who are we talking to? Your favorite daughter. Hello. Hey, you need to say thank you to Lori DeShiel for the super chat. Thank you, Lori DeShiel, for the super chat. If uh, you don't know who Lori DeShiel is, you're a dum dum. But I will, I will fill you in. It's the best way to describe Lori DeShiel to Caitlin. Do you remember the one video where the lady sat down on the whoopee cushion and it popped? It didn't pop. No. It exploded. Caitlin. No. I do. The answer is always yes when I ask you a question. I mean, for crying well, out loud. I was told not to lie. Okay, Bagok. I I love you all. Here, here, John, the, the SS, SAST first group cruise in 20Q9, I don't know what that means, was a life changer, friends and family forever. Indeed, thank you for the super chat. Thank you for that. Um, and because of the super chat, Caitlin, Hannah Klaikowski is going to sing you a slipping digit song right now. Oh, look at that. My phone's going to die. Oh, I, I, oh, look, my chipmunk's awake. 
No, no, no. Caitlin, you're on the spot. You called me in the live stream. You have to sing a slipping digit song right now to Lori DeShiel. You've done it on the vlogs before because. Oh. Hey, oh, yeah. head. Oh, I was singing. Yeah. All right, sing. I did. I, you, keep you going. Did keep going. If that was an. <laughs> That was the sound it makes when somebody sends a super chat. Now sing. Go. I'll give you one quick part. Take my head and stomp. That's all you're getting. Out my <laughs> brains again. I don't. Okay. Good job, Caitlin. Listen, Very I'm, good. I'm live. We have to play the game. I love you. Uh, say hi to Leah. She's in the chat. Hi, Leah. I went out to lunch with her the other day. All right, I love you. Bird, got to go. We got this or that to play. Tell Garrett to stop worrying about a ship sinking. And uh, we're going to talk to you soon about uh, possibly going to St. John in February. Got to run. Love you. Smooches. Love you, All right. Sorry about that, Larry. You know. Not a problem. You know, we got to have our weekly call. Yes. Uh, should so we I'm get... going to close this out with one thing. Okay. This one thing. And this will prove, hopefully, to anybody that's still questioning what I say about the crowd. So I do believe that there were 15 rooms, but one solo. I think that was Cindy. By the way, Cindy, she was awesome. Wait, wait, wait. To, be clear, to be clear, they had solo cabins on the ship, or was it oh, double oh. occupancy? Yeah. Okay. Cindy, Cindy uh, cruised alone. So, um, Daniel was, Fields wants to know how the bathrooms were. Oh, that's another story. Oh boy. That's on my list. Might have to stay till next week because that'll be part of our, <laughs> I, I didn't like the bathrooms. Didn't like them. Yeah. Real quickly. You got to do the hand scan. You have to scan it. And then. If it's a solo, they have tons of solo bathrooms that are co-ed. Every you wait, 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 hand scan for what? To get in the bathroom. Oh, you to mean open the door? Oh, you mean with your CPAS card? No, just your hand. You do. You wave your hand in front of a button. It's green. You wave it. That means it's uh, it's open. The door slowly opens. You step in. It slowly closes. You wave it again to lock it to turn it to red. That whole process is every bit of 45 seconds. So if you've got to go, you're in trouble. You can't you pull can't it behind you? No, no, you cannot shove it. You try to shove it, it opens back up again. And people don't get that scanning. Okay, so what do, you, what do you think the logic is behind that? I mean, I get like, the, okay, but... They, germs, germs, you don't have to touch the knob. That's what it's all about. Everybody wants to touch the knob, Larry. All right, well... I'm just saying that's what it's about. So even when you're in a men's room that's a full-size men's room, you still have to wave your hand, the door opens. But when it's a solo, you got to go really bad, like you held it too long. You it's it's not good. So here's the other yeah, thing. Yeah, especially so have, like let's say you went to uh, you know, Bolero's and had the uh triple hot tacos and there's a you know, the, you got to take care of some things. There ain't no waiting. There's going to be people, you know, of a witness to the the carnage. Yeah. So Because I'm not waiting. If that so door's not see, shutting, I'm letting it fly. Well, here's the other thing. There will be signs that say restroom. And you get to it, you're looking. I can't find it. I can't find it. And you're in a panic because you waited too long. You got to go. You start scrambling. Well, all of a sudden, about day three, I looked. And in really, really light green uh -huh. would be an arrow that says right or left or forward. It's like I never noticed that arrow. It's it needs to be dark green that you can it stands out if it's not right there. But it's a small thing. You got used to it. You learned where they were. There's tons of them. They're all over the place. But it's that hand scan, get in, wait for the door to close, lock it. So here's my here was my point. For a ship that's supposedly so big, 20 stories tall, uh, there were 29 of us in our group. 
I am not exaggerating when I say this. We would not have meetup points. We would not have rendezvous. We found people on our in our group constantly. We found them. We walked past them. It is. It was so bizarre. I thought if we didn't have a meetup that day, you would never see people in our group, and that wasn't the case. You, you came across them all the time, all the time. No, I, I, and I believe that. I believe yeah. that the way you've described the ship, um, even though it's huge, right? Um, uh, that you cover. I'd be walking I and I'd look like, and I'd be like, "Hey, there's the birds in the hot tub." Yeah, like, I like it. The birds it are unreal. making the birds are making coop soup, and I appreciate that. Uh, we were off the ship the one day, and we stopped to get our picture. And next thing I know, the pictures come back, and I see Rhonda Carney photo bomb. <laughs> Yeah, I, I heard about, about the photo bombing. I did hear hilarious. about that. That's, that's that's her. She's fun. She's she's funny. She's fun. I don't know what else to say. Well, but, um, my niece says Caitlin saying, so you should sing too. Uh, and she brought up a song from like 1996 that I used to sing like practice all the time, and I feel like I owe it to her because I didn't call her back last night or today. So I gotta, I gotta, I, I gotta do it, Larry. So All just, right. let, just you know, let me handle. Let her rip. Let, let me, her rip. Let me handle some family business. Some of you may know this. I'll bet Lolo Dash does. Uh, this dates back to probably 1995, of uh, the Tony Rich Project. If you know who I'm talking about, but I'll, I'll keep it short and sweet. Uh, I can't believe I'm doing this. Like a clown, I put on a show. Uh, see, I don't know the lyrics anymore. The pain is real if nobody knows. I'm crying inside. And nobody knows it but me. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to hit a dusty road And me and Larry are going to cruise on Bromania Yeah, yeah, yeah There you go, Leah I, I, I threw it in there a little bit Bromania is coming up, Larry Bromania is right around the stinking daggone freaking corner And we're going to play this or that real quick But I did, Larry, I wanted to show you something very quickly. Don't go anywhere. Don't change the subject. I'll be back in three seconds. One, two, three. So I I have I have so much I could cover. Uh it's just it's so positive, but again, um the highlight right, was the highlight if was the group. Right. Highlight was the group. Uh I salute everybody in our group. I don't want to start naming names so that I know I'll forget somebody. Um, I even know it was a small group, but it was great being with everybody. I can't wait to sail with you all again. Hopefully the new people that hadn't sailed before had a great time and they want to go again. And again, Sharon and Jamie, they just knocked it out of the park again. Like they always do. They always do. They always do. And they make everybody feel so welcome. Yep. They just do an amazing, amazing job with that. And the only thing they don't do an amazing job at is, uh, figuring out when the next Sharon at Sea ship show group cruise is going to be, but we'll work on that. All right. We'll, we'll go to work on that. Even if it's, I don't care if it's 2026, we just got to get something, something on the books. We need, right? maybe it's going to be every four years. We'll do the Lido Olympics. <laughs> well, no, no, no. We need it. So it needs to be every two years then. And we do the summer and winter, right? So there we, you, get, now yeah. we did the winter. We need the summer. You're welcome, Leah. She said, thank you, Loniford. That's my nickname with my niece and nephew. Uh, there will be no stroking on Bromania. That's what you think, Arnold. That's what you think. Larry didn't under it doesn't understand what I'm talking about. There may have been some, you know, things happening. But uh, Larry. In our room you know, last year, there was stop. definitely, there was not stroking, but there was snoring. I can tell you that. These showed up the other day. Uh. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. These showed up the other day. Um, everybody's set up now. I don't know if it'll focus. Oh, there you go. 
Bogokler, Bromania 2024. Uh, I'm happy to announce that uh, in about two and a half weeks, you guys will all be getting these special uh, travel, you know, day pack humidors to keep your cigars safe and sound. Oh, so very nice. Every one of you got one. And every one of you will get gifts from me that will fill that. Yeah. And it's even got a gauge, a uh, 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 humidorian or whatever How you call cool that. How cool is that? Yes. How cool is that? And, you know, wait, there's more, right? So, look, it's not a fleshlight, Kevin. It's got one of these jammers that you fill up with propylene glycol or distilled water to keep it at the right humidity so you know you know i do we take care of everybody over there you do there's no doubt about it all right let's my get back my backpack is out and it's already got stuff in it oh by the way speaking of backpacks make sure the bromania boys all of you bring your backpacks because the swag bag is an additional um add-on bag to your backpack from last year so make I sure you bring your uh uh backpacks please all right, let's get to the game, Larry. All right, here we go. I don't know if I can figure it out. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Let me get to it. Here we go. Boom. Oh, God, no. As, as, as you're getting that ready, I did remember something about Cigars Under the Stars. Okay, hit me. We have Gina Bird on video smoking a cigar. I don't know if she liked it very much. But she tried it. She was adventurous. Did she, she gave it a go? Okay, she gave it a go. Yep. All right, here we go. I screwed that up. If you weren't paying attention, you know, hit the rewind button. You'll get the first one right anyway. <laughs> Don't anybody ask me what the Menti code is because it's just at the very top of the screen that you're looking at uh, right now. I can't read that. It's 4127-7508. So if you're familiar with this game, that's great. If you're not, please go on your phone or a secondary device to menti.com. And I'm talking to you, Miss Rini and Miss Clayco, Mrs. Clayco, Mrs. Rini and Mrs. Clayco. Uh, go to menti.com, type in that code, Hi, and Jamie. You, you will become a... Oh, look, he's I, he's fortuitously back. Is Jamie back? I don't know. She said bye, friends. Oh, bye, you said. Jamie will hide. Now, Jamie, you can't leave now. You could <laughs> win. You could win. And, oh, by the way, Bruce, Larry... Uh, did you see yeah. that epic backpack I sent to uh, Amy Franzak? Yes, that was amazing. Yes. I want my I, like I I saw it when I designed it, and I had to uh, order one myself for ah. for Kelly. It was nice. Very yeah, she nice. liked it. She liked it. Good night, Jamie Wilhite. I'm not gonna wait too long, but these are all questions. Oh, good night, Jose Arlera. He's night. been here all night. Um, Jose, you know, I love you, buddy. Can't wait to see you again. And next time I cruise with you on the Carnival Horizon, uh, the morning uh, after embarkation day, we're going to order one of those great big giant tubes of beer like you had uh, on the Vista. The towers? They had the towers? Red frog. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah! It's a red frog. Yep, yeah. me and Jose are gonna do that. So, so one one of our favorite places on this last cruise, which I never would have dreamed, was Playmakers. And I got to tell you, it was a great place. It was really cool, but mainly it was because of the bartender Mohammed. He was amazing. He made he made everything so fun. But that's where we did um, our meet and greet, uh, and then we we went back to, two more times. It was just a really fun place. By so many way. places on the ship were fun. It, and that it, it made it fun because our, our almost our whole group went there. And our whole group was there. We did a little the last night we were there. L Can't say enough about the group cruises. It's time to clarify. You don't just win a backpack every time. <laughs> uh Amy <laughs> Franzak got that backpack for extenuating uh circumstances, but tonight. 
it won't be a shirt. It won't be a hat. It won't be a mug. It'll be something else. But I can tell you, it's not going to be a $65 backpack. I, I do have a carnival question, though. What's that? When you get that tower, does that count towards one of your 15? Well, I'm charging it to Jose Lara's account, so I really don't care. I, I, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm just going to drink the beer for because free. Because if that's if that counts as one, that's something to know. Uh, uh, Joan Gillen uh, says there's ads. Uh, sorry about that. That's YouTube. I didn't make it happen. Yeah, they unfortunately run uh, Sharon at Sea on Monday, too. Good night, Jamie Wilhite. But uh, uh, just to be clear, Tess, I'm not sending you a backpack. If you want one, I can design it again for you, or I can order it for you. It's not part of my shop, but if you want one of those backpacks, you can send me the money, and I don't think it's 65 You can send me the money, and I can order it again, but it's not something I can put in my store for you to buy. I already have it designed, so if you want one, let me know. You can Venmo me. I'll buy it. Uh... Uh, and make sure that you get it like Amy Franzak did. I ordered one myself too for Kelly because she's rolling around with the Griffin Alyssa backpack and, you know, she wants a ship show one. Well, Tess, I never get your jokes, okay? That's just the way it is. Your, your jokes uh, seem serious, but they never are. I don't get it, okay? All right, let's get Larry up here. Where's Larry? Why can we not see Larry? Larry, are you still here? Did we lose Larry? I think we lost Larry. Oh, Larry, you disappeared there for a minute. Oh, am I back? Yes, you're back now. All right. Let's get you small. All right. Let's get the rooster up here. We'll make myself big and let's make me small. I made Larry big earlier, but he's small now. I'm going to make myself kind of small too. Okay, we got 28 players ready. Here's how it's going down in Ship Show Town tonight. All these questions were asked of Larry about icon of the seas your job is to guess what you think that larry answered the question as if that makes any sense to you do not answer what you think answer what, what you think larry thought all right we got 29 players i was hoping for 30 but we didn't get there either way we're going in five four three to one answer fast to get more points hey larry diamond lounge bar lime and coconut bar or the schooner bar which one did you like best do you like my graphics larry i do yes that is cool i put a lot of work into this my friend I see that yes a picture of each venue what it is like you would never understand me okay so 11 okay we didn't get a lot of people we had 28 people participating and only 19 people answered well i better stand by for the comments uh it wouldn't let me vote what the hell that's what steven i knew that was coming i knew it was coming i knew it was coming when 19 people answered I knew it was coming. So for that question, the Diamond Lounge, there is no need for it anymore. It is beyond lame. Just horrible. No need. Bad. I went in there one time, got a double espresso, never went back. Scooter this bar, is why I don't like playing it. these games, Larry. The dumb stuff happens. Like, it, it only let 19 people vote. I have no control over who votes. There were 28 people in the game, 29. I don't know why it didn't let you vote. I really don't. I don't. 
But let's see who's on the leaderboard. I mean, someone's yeah, getting a get prize. Ready. At the end of the day, it's a random prize. It could be you, okay? It could be you. I don't get it. Okay, sorry. 20 votes, not 19. I'm getting messages out of control from Lori. She says, Jesus, Lori. YouTube won't let me make comments. It says I have to subscribe for one minute, but I'm clearly subscribed. You are my prize, John. Lori, you're not subscribed. If it, you, it, Try subscribing again. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. But, Larry, my freaking chats came up. What's the name of the show? Oh my God! There, ah! I'm in trouble, Larry. No, please, no. You'll figure it out. No, no. This is not good. Oh boy. Hold on. I'm I'm going back. Oh boy. Oh boy. I blame Lori Deshiel. Okay, I think everything's good. Sorry about that. Oh, boy. There we go. Now we're good to go. Rhonda's in first place. She uh, has got a 10-point lead over Dirty and Wet. Larry, who is, that who is, is a reference ball. to your towels. Uh, Blingy Brandy is in third. Marshmallow, old fashioned. We didn't even go down that road yet oh, tonight. I, I see. I got so much info, but that means they were on the cruise with me. <laughs> uh, Who is that? Who is that? We don't know, but somebody will tell us. Uh, hey, stop it, Lori! You already got me in trouble. Uh, Lori, if you're if you're subscribed, you you can comment. I'm sure you're commenting and you just don't know it. Uh, Lindy Claus, Frosty, Dan Stinking, Luscious Linda, Walking on Lawns. Hey, I hope walk, Walks on Lawns doesn't win. And last but not least, we got fire. Kevin Brubaker is uh, dirty and wet. So do you like marshmallows? No. Do you hate them? No. I, I thought, yeah, and it brings up the next question. Do you like peeps? Do I like what? Peeps. Peeps. You know, those Easter candies, uh, the, the bunnies that are covered in sugar. They're marshmallows covered in sugar. Um, I wouldn't say I don't like them. I couldn't tell you the last time I had one, but uh, yeah, it's just kind of like the marshmallows. I don't, but uh, I can't remember our question. Well, we'll, 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 I'm not we'll going to say anything. We'll get to the. Go. That all right. all right. Here we go. Next question. Answer fast to get more points. We got 23 players because people quit. They wouldn't let them vote. Uh, if it doesn't let you vote, I swear to God, I have nothing to do with it. I'm going to give it five, four, three, two, one. Answer fast to get more points. Icon had the Wizard of Oz, the Dive Show, and the Ice Show. Which one was the best, Larry? Wizard of Oz, the Dive Show, or the Ice Show? It is odd that it's going all the way down to the end. Okay, so we got 20. Okay, so we got the right amount of people voted that time. Don't tell me it didn't let you vote. I don't want to hear it. The leaderboard has changed. Rhonda Carney missed that one. Dirty and wet and about 90% of the other people did. Rhonda just sucks at this game, I think. I'm just kidding. Blingy Brandy is in first place uh, with a lead of about uh, 13 points over Dirty and Wet, which we all know is Kevin Brubaker. But uh, who's nine points behind 
and Frosty. Marshmallow Old Fashioned is only five points behind there. Walks on Lawns needs to get out. Fire still in the game. Luscious Linda. Ooh, Luscious Linda's in the game. Rhonda, Crazy Cat, Traveler, and Barefoot Contessa all in the mix. Truly, and I mean this, we've seen major swings every week in this game. It could go any direction. Am I right, Larry? Yes. Yeah. You're never out. Here we go. Next question. Answer right. fast to get more points because that's how it works here at the ship show. I question number Roger. three of five. It. Who's Roger? That was Roger? Wait, Roger's what? He's, he's the marshmallow old fashioned. Yes. Peeps are disgusting. It. Who's sending me a message from Ohio? Wait, you haven't voted on this question. It wouldn't let me vote. I can't help it. I don't know what's going on with that, but uh, keep, uh, you know, keep voting. I mean, the last round worked. I'm sorry you couldn't vote, but there'll be plenty of uh, other rounds. Larry, this is the first time where it wouldn't let people vote. But yeah, I noticed I it right away in the first question that Way less people voted than were in the round. So, all right, all right. well, the ones left, you have a better chance to win, right? Oh, Tess says she couldn't vote in that last round. I, I don't know. Answer fast to get more points. I'm just giving away a prize randomly at this point. <laughs> My niece also said, stop saying dirty and wet. <laughs> better than dirty and moist. Did I miss a question? We should be on three. All right. Next question coming at you live and direct to answer fast to get more points. Hey, Larry, Pearl Cafe, Aqua Dome Market, or Surfside Bites? Those are all little uh, grab-and-go spots on the Icon of the Seas, which are all better than the Windjammer. By the way, is it called the Windjammer? Yes. Okay. And nobody can knock the Windjammer on this cruise. But here's where they got smart. So when you look, remember the old uh, Promenade Cafe? Yeah. It's still there. On You'd go up there and you'd say, okay, I want that chicken salad sandwich and a chocolate chip cookie. And they go get them. They put them on a plate. Yep. This, you just walk up. You just grab it and go. It's all it's all in an open case. You just, you just take it. So, again, it speeds up the process of just getting something small to eat. Salads, sandwiches, cookies. I know it's Leah, dessert. but Leah, I'm telling you. Leah, I knew that was you, my dear. It took a while, though, I, I, even though it upset you a while back. Uh, when I got my new iPhone, I had to delete all my contacts so my company wouldn't have control of my phone anymore. Um, took a long time to recreate my uh, contacts list. But yes, I knew that was Leah. I knew that was <laughs> uh, my girl Leah now. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna call you tomorrow. We're gonna we're gonna chat it up. Uh, it looks like the proper amount of people voted in that round. It it looks like it. Larry, tell us what you thought. Uh, they were all good. The only negative about the surf side is again that's by the kids area, and so I just wasn't there as much. But, Let me guess. It was all like uh, macaroni and cheese and chicken tenders. No, they they had they had all kinds of stuff. No, they, okay. they had a, vi a wide variety. Yeah, you you just hard to knock the food and the venues on this ship. Out of the blue, you'd come across a place that you had to pay six dollars for a hamburger. I don't know why we'd walk three minutes and get it for free, but <laughs> there were some places you had to pay for stuff, and I thought that was a little odd, but. I love overall it hard to complain. I love Leah's message though. That is so like um our family. She's like, it's Leah. Leah is sending you a message from <laughs> I love you, girl. If I could grab my camera and pull it in and kiss you, I would right now. I love you. Um Tess Almond says, Larry, what's wrong with moist? There's some people don't like the word. I don't know why, but they just don't like it. I have no problem with it, but some people just don't like it. 
All right, here we go. Frosty is in first, but the lead is small. It's a six-point differential. Listen, from the top to the bottom, it, anyone could win here. We got Frosty, oh, yeah. Marshmallow, Old Fashioned, Luscious Linda, Blingy Brandy, Dirty and Wet, uh, great name, uh, Dan's Thinking, Biff, was the fastest. I like that name. Clubman. Yeah. See, I love our family. I love our family. Clubman. What a great name. Uh, walks on lawns. I uh, see now my first instinct when I see the walks on lawns name, I would think doodles. But then I think I see Clubman. I don't know. And then fire. Uh, anybody's game here. We're going to the next question. Question four. four you got to answer fast to get more points. Question four or five is coming up all in your facial area. Remember, the faster you answer, the more points you get if you're correct. Daniel Field yeah. says a moist lawn is good. <laughs> Kelly Madison says, I hope there's a prize for zero points. At least I'm <laughs> consistent. Maybe. Maybe we should think about that. My niece says barf. Okay, here we go. Here we go. What the hell's going on? Wait, go back, go back. Question four, here we go. Answer fast to get more points. Hey, Larry, what is the most drinks you had in one day? 18, 27, or 15? What are the most drinks you had in one day? Larry, what do you think of my graphic there on the screen? <laughs> Classic. I like it. Yes. Everyone's like voted. It. All right. It looks like everybody got to vote on that one. I do want to know at the end of this game if, if the person that won was denied a vote at the beginning because I'll feel much better knowing that. Here we go. Frosty missed the mark. Marshmallow Old Fashioned still in the mix. It looks like we might have some switch up. Uh, blingy brandy still in the mix. Uh, dirty and wet, luscious Linda. St. Elmo moved up quick to St. Uh, like to fifth or sixth. Biff's back in the game. Joan Gillen, she's there. And Clubman. All right, here we go. Last question. Remember, still anybody's ball game. Anybody's game. It's coming at you. Uh, Live and direct. Joan Gillen says, I went from 21 to 10. Yeah. Clearly, being happen. on the cruise is helping. Maybe <laughs> so, Daniel Fields. You know, you don't want to miss out. You don't want to miss out. The good news is I can get any prize I want because I designed it. Uh, wait, wait, what did Leah say? Uh, Garrett says, Leah, thanks for the new word. He hates my dad jokes. I liked one of them you sent today. You and Kevin Brubaker need to meet, Garrett. All right. Why is this doing this dumb stuff? <coughs> Question number five coming at you live and direct. And I'm going to do this quickly, uh, Larry. Okay. Because you know what this song means, right? That means it's closing time. Question number five coming at you live and direct. Answer fast to get more points. Hey, Larry, Royal Caribbean or Carnival? Which cruise line are you picking? You got to choose. I'd laugh my face off if this thing doesn't let anybody vote in the last round. It'd be so funny. I feel like we might have an issue and we don't. Okay, everybody voted. Royal Caribbean, okay. Four people missed it. I'll bet Leah, Garrett, and Caitlin were three of those four people. Um... We're about to find out. You ready, Larry? I'm ready. Let's see the winner. Oh, wow. Marshmallow old fashioned landslide win. I don't know who was. I won't let me vote. 
I don't know what the I did. Listen, it's a freaking app online. I don't. I have nothing to do uh, with who it lets vote. This is ridiculous. I'm never playing this game again. And that, that, that you know what? It'll save me a lot of money because then I don't have to give away any stick and dig on freaking Francis. Like, seriously, I don't understand why I wouldn't let people vote. Congratulations to Marshmallow Old Fashioned. You have won. Do you uh, know who that is? No. That's Roger Johnstone. Roger Johnstone. You know what? Uh, who was on the Icon Cruise, who sat next to me. I introduced him. I said, we were at the school. Oh, great. Barn. Okay, said, Arnold Kump get- says it would have been better if it had let me. Vo- I don't know what's happening. I put this stuff up there. And now Linda Kusiak saying there's no sound. All right, listen, Larry. The icon was iconic. Roger Johnstone, Wendy Johnstone, so glad the dog is back. Um, yeah. Roger, yeah. I will send you a rubber band bracelet. I'll think of something cool to send you. If anybody hasn't noticed, I usually, for new winners, try to send something unique that I designed that nobody else has. So I will try and send you something cool. But anyway, Larry, I love you, buddy. I'm glad you had a great time. My FOMO is killing me. (laughs) And I will say this. The group cruises, I'd go on the SS Minnow to be with the people on the group cruise. They're that much fun. What do you mean the SSS Minnow? Like SS Minnow. Oh, you know. okay. Got it. I'd go anywhere with the group cruise. They, they make it great, but the ship was awesome, amazing. I can't say enough great things. If the price was reasonable, I'd book it again right now. So I might have to wait a while, but that's okay. I had a great time. Everybody in the group was awesome. Can't wait to see you again. Can't wait to cruise, cruise with you again. Oh, you know uh, what? Wait, wait, wait. Brian yeah, yeah. Dunn brings up a good point. Yeah. He says, question one wasn't your fault. I didn't realize you had to scroll down below the pics. By the time I did, the question closed. So I feel like maybe people were trying to click a picture instead oh. of the answers. So here's oh. what I'm going to do from now on. I'm not going to try and spice it up. Uh, you, with yeah. the with the pictures. Oh, I got. Yep, I think that's it. I think Brian Dunn's yep. onto something. Yep, that's I think it. that's what it is. The picture. Yep, I think you're right. I think he's right. Yeah. Well, it's good to be back. Uh, I've got uh, all kinds of info if people want to private message me, and I'll answer any questions. But um, nope, I think we got it. We got another cruise right around the corner there, brother. Uh, I'm not going to... Listen, you guys figure it out. If you can't figure out how to scroll to answer a question, I'm just not going to add add pictures anymore. Yeah, From now yeah, on, it's just going to yeah. be straight answers. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Real quickly, though. When will that be installed? Hold on. Yeah. I'm trying to get there, Larry. Oh, boy. Here we go. Here we go. There's my boy, Larry. I'm excited. This weekend, uh, I'm going to install my fertigation system. I will be sure to keep you all updated on the lawn. You know what I'm saying? Right now, I'm greener than anybody else in the whole stinking daggone freaking neighborhood. And that was the goal, Larry. But Larry, Uh, I I forgot to mention... Yeah. Last week I got fitted for new golf clubs. They'll be here next week. Oh. It's 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 a happy happy day here at the ship show. <laughs> I am going to beat you at golf one day. Okay. It'll be when I'm dead, it, you know, in heaven. But I will beat you. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Make sure Thanks. you hit the good, thumbs good up. Good to be button. back. Good to be back. Good to see everybody. Don't take any wooden nickels. Be nice to each other online. Forget this stupid election crap uh, for for every time you consider posting a political post take a step back and say you know what that's the dumbest thing i could ever do because ain't nobody gonna listen or i'm not gonna change their mind good night everybody don't take any wood nickels